Hey everyone, Finley here, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be looking at some more of your guys' creations. Now I know it is a bit weird because I'm recording this one and it's on a Wednesday and we normally do it on a Saturday, but we're going to have two this week because I just got so many submissions from you guys that I will not be able to get to them all today. So I have to do two videos. But all I can say is thank you all for joining my Discord server and thank you for submitting so many beautiful creations. If you do want to submit for the next episode, because I haven't recorded it yet, make sure to join the Discord server right now. We're starting off with the ROD2330 by Hunter's OO Gauge. Okay, and I'm just going to get it crunched onto my head, and I'm going to turn it around because it's very much backwards. There we go. Now, Hunter's OO Gauge uses flanges, which is something I actually don't see very often at all. In fact, I don't think I've ever had a creation submitted that uses flanges, but I might be wrong. Just because, you know, yeah, we normally all use, um, we normally all use the freaking eggs. W makes it go forward. Is that your power le level? I guess. I guess it's the power. Oh, there's a lot of number logic in here. What is one new? One brings it to a very, very slow stop. That is, that's actually really, really, really important. And that is a really good feature because none of our other trains do that because we all just have this stop that stops very violently. Okay. What does two do? Two brings it to a quicker stop, I think, right? What does three do? Three just stops it. Okay. And what does four do? I don't know. Okay. Wait, maybe I should read the instructions? No, I won't read instructions because there are no instructions. Okay. Let's just have a drive then. Now this train should realistically make it around this corner with absolutely zero problems because it's using X's flanges on X's corner, right? So we should have absolutely no problem. And we are actually having absolutely no problem. Which is actually impressive i didn't actually expect there to not be a problem i really expected this oh oh shit okay i forgot that the hyperloop was um there oh wait no 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 Wait, I think I broke it. Um, thank you for submitting this one. We're gonna look at your other one now. We'll just look at it on this straight piece because it's gonna be a bit quicker here. This other one is the 262-6167 by Hunter's OO Gauge, which also looks really cool. Oh! Okay, um. Sure. Alright. Uh, that, 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 that was interesting. Is this piston powered? No. Is that a little steam thing? It is. Okay, so when that hits that, it will set it off. Let's have a go then. It's a very tall train, but a very, very short cab. Oh, look at that. One just stops it. Okay, so this one isn't as complicated as the other one, I guess. No, okay, so it still has a brake. Kind of like uh, that kind of slow down brake. Yeah, it still has that. Okay. This one's very cool. Very nice looking. I like it. Very cool. Thank you for submitting these trains. On to the next ones. Mr. Bonesy, I was going to look at this, but sadly there's mods missing and I don't know what ones they are. On to the next one. This next one's by Wrecked Foxy and it's a train engine. So we're just going to spawn it in here. Um, I don't know what it is. Or how it works, or what it's meant to be, but it's apparently an engine for a train. Your engine's broken. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Sort of it. Okay. Well, um, very cool. I think. Thank you um, for submitting this train engine. And on to the next one. This next one's by Big Cheese O nine two O seven, and it's a wall shirts gear valve v2 and it looks very well 
First of all, um, it's very bulky, but that's not their fault. It's just how you have to build it, I guess, right? Because it is. And it's all vanilla, which is even cooler. Like, this whole thing is actually, this whole thing is really, really cool. I assume one will start us off going forward. Yep. Is this thing... Wow. And two will put it into reverse. Holy. Like, I am really impressed. Because this thing is... This thing is all pissed and drive. And it's just going. Does it go around this? No problem. Let's see. It has a bit of jumping issues, but it's just the bad corner. It's not your train's fault. It is... Oh. Okay, well, it got a bit stuck, but that's fine. We'll just chuck it into reverse. Because piston engines are so strong that they can literally get through anything. And this thing is definitely very, very cool. I'm actually really, really impressed. I'm not gonna act like I understand it, because I don't really, but, you know. Um, very, very cool. Thank you for submitting. On to the next one. These next ones are by Bendy, and you already know that when it's Bendy, it's gonna be some insane piston power. So let's look at them right now. This first one is the 244 Steam Train 3U. So we're gonna hop right on in. You already know there's not going to be a seat because it's bendy. And you already know that they're all going to be piston powered. So let's give it a drive. What's this button do? That's a light. Oh, look, you got a little cute light there. And a whistle. That's great. And look at it go. Oh, these things are always, they're so peaceful. They're also very, very smooth. Oh, no. Oh, no, that's so sad. Maybe we can reverse. No, it's stuck. Aww. This other one is the 060 Steam Train 3U. Well, it's, oh, same interior, so we already know what that does. Let's give it a drive here. Oh, it's so weird when I see these parts. I know it's a vanilla creation because I'm not used to these being in the game by default. Here we go, though. It's going pretty nicely. Yeah, it's getting, it drives along here. Up when your rod is, like, spinning around in circles. Got a, it's got a little door here, so I assume you could go into your other coaches. I wonder what these valves are meant to be on the side, but I guess um that's for your imagination to um, find out. Very cool. Let's slam it into reverse and let's go back down. I want to see if you can jam up the engine. Oh wait, didn't I already try this? I think so. Yeah, you can't jam up the engines. They're too smart. They really are too smart. I don't know. I don't know how you did it, but congratulations. This next one is the 022 Experiment 3U, and it's a work-in-progress train. But I'll tell you already, it looks very, very cool. Um, it's not piston-powered. It's thruster-powered. There is no reverse from the looks of it. There is just a go. So we're just gonna give it a go, I guess. Okay, now this train is actually really, really cool. I know I was in silence, I was just listening, I couldn't, like, that train is super, super cool just to listen to. Oh, it's just very, very, very cool to me. I don't know, I don't really know how he makes it, or how they make it go forward all the time. But it just does. Because the wheels aren't... Oh, the wheels are connected. That's how that works then, because the wheels are connected. Okay. I honest, this is really, really cool. 
I am enjoying this a lot. It also, it slows down on the hills, right? Because the thrusters are, because um, the wheels have um, more force against them. Because the pistons kind of just push and push, but the thrusters are actually very, you know, relevant to how much force they have, or how much resistance they have. This whole thing is very, very cool. Thank you for submitting it, and I'm very, very excited to see more trains like that in the future. This next one is Jackie, and it's by Liz. You already know it's going to be great. And look at it. Super cute. It does have a bit of a tilt upwards, but I'm pretty sure that's okay. No seat. Little whistle. Little, um, bell. I don't know what that does. Light. That's the brake. Forward right here, I think. Oh, wait. Uh-huh. Um. Okay. Um. Now, Liz, I'm pretty sure when your train wheels spin, they have to be touching the ground so the train can drive. Um. But thank you for submitting. And, you know, we'll just leave it there. Um. <laughs> and we'll look at your other one. Which is the 3X Rail... Kalka Shimla 262 named Axel. Because this also looks very cool. It's very boxy. And these are the water tanks. Got some nice wheels here. Very cool, very cool. Let's get in here. Okay. So it drives this way, then not. I thought it'd drive that way. No, it drives backwards. Alright, light. Forwards. Let's go. Really? What if I just, like... Oh no, it's going now. Okay, it's got its grip. No, it doesn't. What if I just do that? Alright, so if I lift up those wheels... It drives perfectly good, so I assume if I did that with Jackie over here... Yep, there goes Jackie as well. Huh. You might need to work on your uh, degrees of, um, wheels there. What does that do? I don't know. Oh wait, is that brake lights? Yeah, okay, that's red lights. And then that's obviously your brake. Well. Oh. Thank you very much for submitting these creations. Thank you to everyone who submitted today. I hope you all have amazing days. Make sure to join the Discord if you do want to submit your own creations. Make sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button because it helps out my channel a lot. Have a good evening, morning, or afternoon whenever you're watching this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.